Hey dudes, today I want to show you how to copy plugin information from one track and put it to another track. So let's jump right into it and make today a quick video. All right, so let's go ahead and put our tracks into touch mode and let's get a EQ popping off on track one. And it is supposed to sound like a cell phone. So let's do this in uh, preview mode. So we'll go preview. I have videos on how to do preview mode and automation and other things that you can check out. But if you're following along, all we're going to do is preset special effects and we'll go to cell phone. Our touch mode is turned green, which lets us know that something is happening, but nothing has been written. Let's play our track. Hey dudes, you've reached my voicemail. Please leave a message after the beep. Later dudes. Great. So let's say that I have decided that that is the area where I want to commit this preview. I go to this right automation to selection because I created a selection first and then pop the button. There it is. I can confirm that it is a clean, blank, empty EQ, nothing going on. And then when I go to this section, reach my voicemail. There is in fact an EQ happening here that sounds like our cell phone. Okay, so I'm going to go to DX2, add another blank, clean EQ to this. And all I'm going to do is click at any moment in track one, EQ one, this one up here, where there is a desired setting of that insert and hit shift command C. Then I will click into the plugin where I want to paste those settings and do, you guessed it, shift command V. It is now pop those settings into the track. Just so you can see and we can verify, I am still in preview mode. My touch is turned green. My settings are here. My selection has been created. And now I can go to write automation and we can verify that clean settings, clean settings and telephone. Please leave a message after the beep. All right, that's it. Shift command C, shift command V. Keep in mind, you can do this on the same track in multiple places. You can do it from track one to track two. You can do it in or out of preview mode. It doesn't really matter, but what I just showed you is one way that I often use it, is that I create a part of a track where I automate some EQ, for example, and I want that EQ again. So I shift command C, shift command V, and then write just that area, and it's a really fast workflow. Keep in mind, this will only work for inserts. It can't work for other automation like a send or something like that, but a very handy tool to use when you need to copy insert automation from one place to another. I hope you get to use this in your upcoming projects. And until next time, later dudes.